the goal of any education is to get a job at the end of it. And so why would you invest 18 years in a person and then say, okay, it's over, go home and sit on the couch and watch videos for the rest of your life? Everybody deserves a right to contribute to their community. Everybody deserves an equal chance at a job. a little bit early. She came pretty fast. She was six pounds. The doctors right away knew that something was not right. He was born right before Thanksgiving. He would not eat. I started to be worried how would a newborn not being hungry at all. Chances of walking, not so great. Any kind of education, not so great. High likelihood of seizures, probably a shortened lifespan. The doctor just told me that he has Down syndrome. I don't know what future is anymore. I don't know how long they will live, uh, how disabled they will be. It still hurts so much. I used to work for a company to help people find their dream job. And I think that's almost exactly what that work does. They spend time getting to know clients and seeing what, what's possible. Davis Wright Tremaine is a large international law firm with nine offices throughout the United States and Shanghai. The at work team was amazing. We sat down and, and figured out where are there holes in our staff support here at Davis Wright? Where, where are some um, areas where we could use some more assistance? These are things that actually need to be done. Arthur would, would be doing work for pay and he would be earning that pay. Let's see if there's anything else we It really need. opened our eyes to the possibilities. And it's like, wow, you know, she may have a job one day. And uh, that really just excited us tremendously. So Paige uh, delivers snacks and supplies to all the staff and the attorneys at Davis Wright Tremaine. Arthur keeps the office running smoothly and he keeps it clean. I was excited about the idea, but I was a little bit skeptical. I, was, I wasn't I was sure how it would be received by the attorneys and staff in our office. <laughs> My initial thoughts, very hesitant. I thought it would give me more work to do. I was kind of worried just because I, I wasn't sure if she would be comfortable, but after like a week of having her here, it's like, oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Myself and everyone, we, ju we totally adore Paige in a million ways. Paige? She's made our days brighter. I, we love her. Good morning. We go twice a week and we go up in the elevator and she walks off that elevator and she just has the biggest smile on her face. It's been interesting to see people who I'm used to just seeing heads down working at their desk and on days when Paige and Arthur come through, they, it gives them a chance to stand up and take a moment to connect yeah. with either Paige or Arthur. My morning just got better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're in a legal environment. So everything is, everything is six minutes, six minutes. Everything has got to move fast, got to be sharp. So whenever anyone comes in from the community, it's an opportunity to broaden our perspective. I'm actually learning something about my coworkers. Like uh, Arthur is really into um, break dancing, and then my coworker also told me that he does break dancing as well. Does this work? Like this? <laughs> I, I enjoy dancing. I'm not very good at it. Arthur is a lot better than me, and he's pretty good at it. So it's kind of like he's breaking the barriers for us to communicate about other things other than just work. <laughs> The at work job coaches made the integration of their employees seamless for us. All of my worries went away. Stop the paper and the big copy. So I'll do job coaching on the site. Sometimes they'll have a task list so they know what to do. And my job is to get them to be independent so they don't need my assistance. 
Well, Arthur will tell me, Kevin, I don't need my task list anymore. I know what I'm doing. You know? Perfect. Okay. I'm always looking for more tasks that I can give Arthur and Paige, and it's shocking that I would ever think that they, they would ever be limited to do certain things. The word limitations doesn't enter my mindset at all with regard to Paige and Arthur. I mean, there's a lot of people with disabilities that have a lot of great things to bring to businesses. It's another area of the workforce that has not yet been tapped into. Our experience has been completely positive all around. I'm actually encouraging our other offices throughout the firm to follow suit. How's that? When he was born, I had no imagination what future was at all. So what he has accomplished is way beyond my imagination. He found a job he is in love with. He is really proud of his work and he wants to go to work. I'm kind of an emotional person, so don't make me cry. <laughs> um, I'm really proud. I'm, I'm so proud of that boy. And uh, yeah, he amazes me every day. You know, we as a society, you know, like to label people. And Paige certainly has lots of, of labels, and some of them not so nice. But by having her work, she's now an employee. She's now a wage earner. She has a paycheck, and she spends that money. And so she's a taxpayer, too. And isn't that what we want for our children? To be employed and to be part of society. By having a job, she is fulfilling that promise.